Hi everyone, this is Hamza Shigur from emirage.org. Welcome to this quick overview of the Harvester Blender project, a kind of a sci-fi vehicle for researching and harvesting alien energy. In this video, we'll go through the scene organization, the lighting, the assets, the materials and textures, and finish with a look at the modifiers. In this project, there is mainly the vehicle and the hangar, plus minor props. Everything is reusable, the objects, the materials, the lighting, render settings, world settings, etc. The assets are organized as groups, so you can easily link them from another Blender project. The project is divided over multiple scenes that can be reached from the Scene Manager drop-down menu. There are six scenes in total, four of them are for the different lighting modes, and the two others are for the assets. Using the Scene Manager helps when you need to make variations to certain areas like the lighting or render settings for example, while maintaining the same assets. As you may know, Using instances reduces the amount of required memory for rendering. This is good for GPU rendering, so I used a lot of them. And to avoid their textures to look the same, I made a custom node group that makes them varies upon duplication. And this works for every object to whom you apply this material. To make the materials and texture reusable for other projects, I avoided texture painting. So procedural masks was the way to go. They are used mainly for mixing the rest and the dirt textures. To edit them, simply locate the color ramp node and move the sliders. All objects are editable and still have their modifiers stack. Basically, you will find the low poly mesh plus modifiers. In general, a subsurf solidify and boolean modifiers. This is the end of the overview. I hope you will find this project useful. Please take a time to comment and subscribe. Uh, and I will appreciate any feedback too. Like what kind of projects or products you want to see in the future. Thanks for your time.